Hey, how you doing? Hey, what you doing? I be in the break room. I be in the, I be in the break room. Two one four, bed up in the bed up in the break room. Two one four. How you doing? How you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Hey, what we doing? I be in the break room. I be in the, I be in the break room. Two one four, bed up in the bed up in the break room. Two one four. 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 people in their house so mm -hmm. the Harvey household has had a whole bunch of stuff going on here lately mm -hmm. so now not only is the Harvey household You're talking about Steve Harvey about going mm -hmm. with some stuff now the Diddy household what's the Puff Daddy's name um, Sean Combs. Combs. Combs so the like Combs. you comb your hair Sean Combs right now it's Sean Combs yeah, last yeah, weekend yeah, it was Puff Daddy Puff Daddy he went back he just came back to Puff Daddy oh he, he did yeah he <laughs> John, Puff Daddy. John whatever yeah so sure. word it word on the street is that he dating Marjorie Harvey's daughter Marjorie Harvey's daughter and people keep referring to her as Steve Harvey's daughter this is Steph's daughter See, yeah. I didn't know that. I thought that was. Yeah. I thought that was their daughter. No, that's his stepdaughter. She's twenty-two. Yeah. Yeah. Did he? Fifty. Yeah. Fifty. Yeah. He's hey man, way to go, Diddy. I'm, I'm just saying in the sense of give you something to look forward to at fifty. You know, you see, look like maybe everything all right, working all right. So that's yeah. like. Diddy got a check. He, he has an empire. Check. He has yeah. an empire. Yeah. So. It's easy. It's, easy. I mean, it's, a, it's a code. It's a code that you're not supposed to cross. No, no. And, and and here's the thing. It only it, the code only is is real if you grew up with somebody. For example, I grew <laughs> up with one of my boys. Stayed right next door to me. So we did a lot of stuff together. You know, we knew a lot of women together. And I just leave that right there. But my point is, mm. when I went away to school. When I when I went away when I went away to school no 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 when I moved when I moved to Dallas I found out that was when I was so you say it was when you moved to Dallas <laughs> so you say it was when you know you were going to but I was <laughs> you know, you know, you know. now that's funny but I found out and let me let me try to prove my point here. I found out that he was going with my sister. Oh no. Like, dude, wait a oh, minute, dude. Jay. I know you. Yeah. I know what you do. No, Jay. How you gonna go with my sister? No. We grew up together, dog. No. And and that's all and I'm and I'm bringing it home for them too. Now they probably didn't grow up together, they probably don't know each other. Steve probably about twelve years older than Diddy, if that, maybe thirteen. Mm -hmm. But y'all both entertainers, y'all both travel in the same circles. Mm -hmm. Dude, you gonna go with my daughter? Yeah, we, like, hung, out we hung out together. We hung out together. That's anymore. not the issue because she dated Trey Songs too. Oh, see, I didn't know that. Yeah, she dated well, the baby. Listen. Wait a minute, she dated Diddy's son. L d d that's what I was getting. That's to. even worse. That's the issue that and she. Did it? She yeah, she oh. used to date Justin. Now she dating the daddy. Oh, okay. okay. She went from the son to the daddy. The son, you know, the dad. Now see, the daddy can put her in the wheel. Yeah, yeah. The daddy can put it on. Oh, there you go. Justin, can, what, can, what can he? I'm just listen. You want real talk? Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, a yeah. woman. Right, right. And let's yeah. let's just keep so it real. Damn, wow. Leave us some change. Check out Marjorie Harvey. I'm just saying. It's on YouTube. I didn't say. Yeah. I didn't put the stuff Now she was a, around the block a couple of times too before they got together, right? Then she cheated. The apple don't fall too far from the tree. Oh, well, that is. Man, yeah. there's some heat going on. So, but I just, I mean, I just wonder what the conversation is like with Diddy and his son. So, right. I mean, I, this is what I start to wonder in a situation like that. Because we haven't heard of any fallout or anything. And it, and it could just be a big joke that they put on because they want some attention. But when I don't hear a fallout and I don't hear that son is mad at dad, how much respect do you really have for this woman? No. And then, you know, Diddy, he was with Cassie. Cassie, probably about 28, 29 now, if that. Yeah, I think she's 29 now. So he liked them. He liked them. Do you the think Steve would feel that way if it was his, his blood daughter, though? If it was his biological daughter, do you think he would be cool with it? I don't know. I wouldn't be cool with it either way. Man. Why do you think it's an I'm issue for, for Diddy to date Steve's daughter? Uh, the only way I see it's an issue now is because she went with the son. No, well, forget that. But so, where you were going first, like with them being in the entertainment business in in the same circles, why why is that? It is you don't think Diddy could, you know, let's let's say all that extra drama wasn't there. 
You don't think that he could actually treat her? He could. Like, Possibly. Yeah, yeah, he could. Because yeah. he's 50. You know, he's Absolutely. starting to settle down. And then y'all just stay hoes your whole life. I mean, what is it? Yeah, I just... <laughs> I don't really know, you know, I don't know enough about him to say if it's a good thing or a bad thing. All I know is, yo, he's one of my partners. If you listening to me, yeah, yeah. and you date my daughter, that means you've been looking at her when she was calling you uncle when you was little, when yeah. she was little. So I what would you that, do in you know? that case? If, yes. if your, your homeboy, you think dating your daughter, you find out being the end. It's we over do, with. We know that. What, you gonna just stop being friends It's the break room 2-1. <laughs> 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 the break room 2-1 coming live. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was cool when he worked with us. We were cool when he worked with us. Break room 2 one. They could be the same way. They find out, yeah, they, I got to go so stand alone. So if, if, if yeah. every star, if Tati, Tati 21, she's 22 every star. What you going to say, baby? Man, I'm going to have to say, we're going to be some furniture in the wild. Like, like my brother-in-law said, we're going to touch everything in here. My brother-in-law said, man, he had, went down, he had caught a beard. He told me the first thing he got to, he got to with the dude now that bump. He said, brother-in-law, we touched everything in that bitch. <laughs> okay, but let me, let me ask you guys something else. Okay, but now... Both guys are married, so this is really hypothetical. If you were single, are you telling me that if it was a 22-year-old young lady that was interested in you, you wouldn't entertain that and date her at the ages you are now? Like Bing said, it's rules. It's unspoken G code. No, I'm saying if it's Bing, Bing daughter. No, I'm saying. Are you talking about a random? Yeah, just a random. Yeah. I'm, I'm talking real. about you individually. If you were single. Yeah, that's different. I mean. It <laughs> It, that's different. It ain't your, it ain't somebody. It ain't my partner's daughter. It's somebody daughter. If I if if I was in yeah, the young women, know. if I was single and I was in the young <laughs> women, or anybody that's oh. single in the young women, you going you know why would you not? If that's what you went to, but at the same time when it's like that's my my homeboy daughter. You know, that's so are Steve and Diddy home? They cool? But if they not, I figure they, they probably ran in the same circles because they both famous. Right. I, I would think. I would think. Mm. It just looks weird. Half of it, thirty eight percent of it, is just me hating. That's thirty eight percent of it. Because you but, you want to holler? No, I'm just I'm just hating. Like, dude, you don't do that. I'm just hating. Yeah. But the other the other whatever percentage is it just don't feel right. It don't yeah. look right. You know what I'm saying? It don't. What well, doesn't look right? About it you. doesn't look right that he's dating her daughter. And there are things that people in that age group, Diddy and Steve Harvey, do, say, feel, mm. think. But at the end of the day, hold on, because here comes so-and-so. That's a daughter, his daughter. Stepdaughter or daughter, he still care for her the he same way. His last name, yeah. Yeah, well, there you go. That's his daughter. And so there's just a thought process that goes behind that where I'm just like, ah, yeah. that's kind of weird. There's only too many other out there. You yeah, talk and about. I ain't got that kind of money. So I'm, 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 like I said, I'm halfway hating, but that's just kind of weird to me. Yeah, it's a weird. But did he know for them young girls anyways? That's interesting to hear you know. all's take on it. I, I think it's outright disgusting. Well, the fact because that she went with his, his son, son yeah, yeah, that's why puts I the icing disgusting. on the cake for me. Yeah. Like, nigga, I mean, dude, what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I forgot we there. You know, <laughs> so we want to know what you think. I gotta look at the camera because we are on, we being filmed too live. Yes. Uh, let us know what you think. Put your comments right down there. Hello. Should Diddy be dating Steve Harvey's daughter? I ain't gonna say stepdaughter. Daughter is daughter. They should probably live in the same house. She's spending his money. Mm -hmm. Should Diddy be dating Steve Harvey's mm -hmm. daughter? Is it cool? Is there a G code that's being broken? Mm -hmm. All right. So man, this was awesome. Yeah. First show in the books. First show. We made it. We did minutes. it. It's over already. Let's, 65 minutes, actually. 66 minutes. Oh, really? Let's get it radio.com. Make sure you check out all the programming on on that station, right? The yeah. Break Room 214, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. And we got the app, right? No. The app we, is coming. The app is coming. I said that earlier. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. On live today, I said that. So like, you got an app? Oh, yeah. it's coming. Oh, That's for the app. We'll get Wiz to put that together because I know Wiz is listening. So, Wiz. We need that app tomorrow. We need that we app tomorrow. App going, I'm telling you, it's going to be easy for you to be sitting at work then checking us out. You could be sitting in Bermuda checking yeah. us out. Hey, don't forget to check in with DJ Big Bink every day. Well, not every day. Monday through Friday on Facebook Live on his Facebook page. Well, it's both of us now because now we know how to do it. Well, yeah, and I will pop on there from time to time. Um, today I'm wearing my natural hair. But next week, I will probably have my bundles back in. There it is. I'll be so diving in from what? The break room 214 page. That's what that so is. I'll check me out. 
Shots go out to uh, Flavor 316 Radio. Uh, check that station out. Some man, G Wiz, who does all our uh, graphics and all that stuff. Check him out. And then we're going to get this salsa popping up. we got a yes. black man who owns his own salsa company. Great. My boy Mont out there in the ATL. We done did stuff in Ohio together. We did stuff in Dallas together. JPSalsa.com. JP, JP, get some of that salsa by here, man. Dot com. Shout get out to BJ salsa. TDK, man. The baddest DJ in the land. TDK, we got, TDK. we got your spot and your mini mixes. We're going to have it ready when TDK get up here. On so. the Mevo Live. Mevo Live. Mevo. And last but not least, we definitely have to shout out to Witherspoon Law Group. If you have been injured or a loved one has been injured in an 18 wheeler accident, a motorcycle accident, a boating accident, an accident at the amusement park, an accident at the water park, an accident that just caused a whole bunch of injury. Holla. Call with us. We're going to do a jingle for this spot. Get your red check. Get your red check. Get your red check. Get, get, get your red check. Man, hold get up. Get your red check. Get, get, get your red check with Witherspoon. All right. Get your we check. Out, we'll see you guys next week. It's the Break Room 214. Shawnee Scott, Epic, and DJ Big B. Boss. It's the Break Room 214.